Saturn's rings, black hole accretion disks, and spiral galaxies. Across all scales, rotating matter often settles into thin disks. They're stunning, and they deserve an explanation. The driving principle behind this shape is the conservation of angular momentum. You've seen it in the spin of an ice skater. The tighter he pulls his arms in, the faster he spins. Angular momentum, like regular momentum, can be thought of as an inertia times a velocity, and it has a direction too. Curl your right hand fingers in the direction of rotation, and your thumb points in the direction of the angular momentum. Just like regular momentum, it only changes when something outside pushes on it. Those are external torques. Put this together, and when the skater pulls his arms in, his inertia decreases, so his speed must increase to keep angular momentum the same, because there are minimal external torques. So what does this have to do with disk formation? In gravitational systems, external torques are rare, so the total angular momentum of a cloud of dust or rock or plasma stays essentially unchanged. And every cloud in the universe has some angular momentum. Nothing is not spinning at all, after all. And that angular momentum is what drives the disk's shape. Let me explain. Imagine a ball of dust orbiting a newly formed star. The dust particles are moving in many directions, but if you add up the angular momentum of each one, you get a net angular momentum, a preferred rotation overall. Now, take two randomly chosen particles that will inevitably collide. Because they must be traveling in somewhat different directions in order to meet, the sum of their angular momenta will usually point closer to the system's total angular momentum than either one alone. Now, let them collide. They'll scrape past each other, deform, and heat up, losing energy in the process. But with no external torques, their combined angular momentum can't change. That means the energy loss comes out of the parts of their motion that are not aligned with the net rotation. The messy up-down and in-out motions get reduced. The shared sideways rotation survives. Now, let this process run for thousands or millions of years, and the random bits cancel out. You end up with almost every dust particle or gas molecule orbiting in nearly the same direction. That's a disk. And whether it's gas in a galaxy, dust in a solar system, or plasma around a black hole, it's the same story. Conservation of angular momentum forms disks.